Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel in PSU Technical Center once again. Today I will start the next numerical of chopper. This is my numerical 2 of chopper. Today I have considered a step up chopper whose input voltage here is given 220 volt and output voltage is 660 volt. If the conducting time of thyristor chopper that is here the chopper is used here as a as a chopper high is used as a chopper okay is 100 microsecond conducting time 100 microsecond compute the pulse width of the output voltage first thing if we remember output voltage is available when the thyristor is not in working that means thyristor in off state so here the conducting time that means T1 period is 100 microsecond is given. So initially as the previous problem first of all the given data we must we must uh, write down first. This is our given data. Okay. So first given data here the chopper is step up chopper. So we can write it first step up chopper because here the formula of the output voltage is different compared to the step down chopper vs that is our input voltage is 220 now the output voltage v naught equal to 660 volt conducting time that means t on is 100 microsecond okay. compute the pulse with the output voltage pulse width of the output voltage that means you have to find out the t off is a very important point you have to find so it may be inside the to determine okay so to determine so write it here uh, to determine Okay, determine. So here to determine number one in case of uh, first part output compute the pulse width of the output voltage that means you have to calculate T of and number two here in case of output voltage pulse width is half the constant frequency operation. That means the frequency, that means the T on is half. Pulse width is half. Not that the pulse width is half, that means T off is half. Find out the average output and output. that means you have to find out the V0 new. When? When we have reduced pulse width is half. That means your off period that is the T off is half. T off is half from the initial value. So this may be old. Okay. So and this may be new. So new is half of old. Okay. It is very important but the pulse width that means t old equal to t new this is not pulse width very sorry this is the constant frequency so the time period will be constant as before and the earlier case and the current case or present case they both are same okay so these are all given so how you will calculate it is not so much difficult problem as we know from the theory of step up chopper what will be the equation of the output voltage you know this problem is vs by 1 minus of so this is my normal equation as we know alpha means what alpha means is the duty cycle duty ratio that will be better 
and you know this formula is t1 by t okay this is very 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 important formula t1 by t is delta i sorry no, alpha so here in the previous value if we put this value this is 660 and the vs is 220 1 minus of alpha here you have to find out the value of alpha over here 660 Minus, sorry, this I'm writing is too much. Four, six sixty, one minus alpha is equal to two twenty. So divided by both side using hundred ten, that will be six. That will be two divided both side by two. That will be three minus three alpha. That will be equal to one. So three alpha equal to two. Alpha is equal to two by three. So you know the value of alpha. Now you know T one is there. T one is. 100 microsecond but t1 equal to as we uh, use the formula from the formula of alpha you know here t on by t or you can write t equal to t on by alpha put the value really press put the value that is 100 microsecond don't write the unit Hundred divided by two by three, it will become three hundred by two. It will become one fifty microsecond, right? So this is the total time period. So you have to calculate T of old. Okay, T of old. Okay, so this will be the number one solution. T of old equal to T minus T on, and you can say this is also the old value T on. And what will be the T one value? T one value old is given is hundred microseconds, so you can say this is old value. So hundred fifty and hundred fifty microsecond is your fast answer, right? It is your first answer. So this is my first part, and this is my answer also. This is fifty microsecond. So here are the questions of the pulse width of the output voltage. So not that the pulse width of the output voltage in the voltage. That means the unit will be voltage. You calculate the pulse width. That is the duration. That means the time. That means the period. So it will be in second. That is the T of period, right? Now come to the second question. This is very important. Give the star over here to remember. I must keep in your mind double star. Okay. So here, what is that thing? Your pulse width has been off. That means T of new. T of new is half of the previous value. That is the T of old was the. Uh, Fifty. Now it will be divided by two. That will be twenty-five. That will be twenty-five microseconds. And T old equal to T new. Both are same. That is one fifty microsecond, right? So T on new will be equal to T new. Minus T of nu. So T nu is 150, and T of nu is 25. Now this value will become 125, right? So T on you know. So now what will be the value of alpha now? Alpha equal to 
t on nu by t nu t on nu is 125 and it is 150 as before okay so what will be the new value it will be if we divided by 25 5 by 6 this is my right new value now we have to calculate the average output voltage so you have to calculate v nu that means v0 nu what will be the formula vf divided by 1 minus alpha so consider it is also new value okay so this is our old value so this will be new put the value this value is 220 as before this value is 220 as before oh my god just wait. so space is less so that's why i have to do something to move to the right side 1 minus alpha nu that means 5 by 6 So now calculate by using calfi and use the bracket and that will give you the right answer one minus so five by six five by six okay so that will give you the right answer this will be thirteen hundred twenty okay so it will be thirteen hundred twenty now and this volt is in unit volt and this is my the second answer okay. so now we conclude what we have done it is a very uh, complicated not that it is very standard numerical i i i, I, I think so then it may come in your macaut examination in the competitive examination you can do so that concept must be clear formula must be clear formula you have to remember concept not remember concept is always must be in your mind initially you have to start from a point from origin then you have to move and you have and then you can form a tree and and lot of branches will come that is the come of the come the theory of concept no? otherwise come so this is very beautiful sum i think so and you must try in such a way if the theory is benefit kindly put a like and share to your friends and inform uh, any doubt by you get through the comment section okay and those are new subscribe my friend thank you very much for today's lecture if anything anything is profitable and knowledgeable put a like